On today's video, I have 10 reasons why springtime is the best time to be living in Raleigh. Hi, this is Chris Morton, real estate broker with eXp Realty in Raleigh, North Carolina, and it's finally here, springtime. And springtime is one of the very best times to be in Raleigh, North Carolina. And on today's video, we've got 10 things that are going to absolutely make you so happy to get out and enjoy the beautiful weather. The number one great thing to do in the spring, visit the Sarah P. Duke Botanical Gardens at Duke University in Durham. There are over 600,000 people that visit the Botanical Gardens every year. It's an amazing place with five miles of pathways that you can walk through and get to meet some of the most beautiful flowers and trees that you could ever imagine. This is spread over 55 acres again on the Duke University campus in Durham. You can see everything from cherry blossoms blooming right now in the spring to visiting the beautiful koi ponds they have on site. It's truly a great place to take some very memorable photos, especially now in the spring with everything blooming out. And you can even take your dog there if you go between the hours of 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. when they first open or after 5 p.m. until dusk when they close. And best of all, free admission. Next thing to do in the spring, visit our many rooftop bars. So the Raleigh area has become a great place to go hit up our rooftop bars and get to see the beautiful scenery of downtown Raleigh and downtown Durham. From level seven in North Hills to 10th and Terrace in downtown Raleigh near the Performing Arts Center, to the patio at Durham's Unscripted Hotel and the brand new bar at the top floor of the AC Hotel on Glenwood Avenue in downtown Raleigh called The Willard. So we recently went to The Willard and has really, really great tapas, great wine selection, beer selection, cocktails, amazing view. They have an outdoor fireplace. And again, did I mention that view? You can see pretty much 200 and some degrees of downtown Raleigh on two different terraces, really, really cool. They have an inside area as well if you don't wanna be outside. Maybe the weather's a little less hospitable. Definitely a really great place to go. We recommend giving it a try. Again, it's brand new. It's at the top of the AC Hotel. And so all of these places are really great opportunity to go hang out with friends, maybe make some new friends, maybe go on that memorable date night. Definitely something worth trying out, especially in the springtime. Next great thing to do in the spring, visit Pullen Park in Raleigh. This is North Carolina's oldest public park, sitting on 66 acres, very close to NC State University in downtown Raleigh. At Pullen Park, you can have a picnic, rent a pedal boat, kids can ride the carousel, you can take an art class, or you can watch a play at the theater in the park. You can even go swimming at the Pullen Aquatic Center. This is a great park very much in the heart of downtown Raleigh. On the weekends, it gets very, very busy and a great place to go, especially again in the spring with everything blooming and the weather being as mild as it is. So highly recommended that you go check out Pullen Park. Next up, we have the State Farmer's Market in downtown Raleigh. Now this is something we've talked about a lot in the videos we've done in the past because it's such a really cool thing. It is a farmer's market open seven days a week, 365 days a year. Again, in downtown Raleigh, a great place to go get your fruits, vegetables, even seafood and meats, breads, and your house plants, all kinds of stuff. It's sitting on 75 acres, uh, and it is just an amazing place to behold. There's two different restaurants on site. One, a seafood restaurant, so you can get authentic fried, southern seafood there's also a southern restaurant which is really really popular especially for breakfast so if you plan to go to the farmer's market and have something to eat you probably want to get to this restaurant pretty early it does fill up fast and waits can get to be 20 30 minutes long just some advice there again great place to get fruits vegetables and no time is it as great to get fruits vegetables on and on and on as it is in the spring when the growing season is happening. You can even get farm raised eggs, which we've done very recently in the past. And yes, you can tell a difference. Again, seafood is there. Local seafood has a booth. 
It's an amazing place, definitely worth your trouble to go visit. Even if you're just in for a little exploratory trip to decide if Raleigh area is right for you, definitely worth your time to go to the farmer's market. But if you're here and you're local, definitely make sure you hit up the farmer's market as often as you can. Obviously, Saturdays and Sunday mornings are really, really busy. Just prepare yourself and go have a great time. Next up, we have Umstead Park. And this is in Raleigh as well. It's off of Glenwood Avenue, which is Highway 70. It is a gigantic, over 5,600 acre park. It is basically Raleigh's Central Park. Definitely an amazing place that you want to visit, especially in the spring, when again, everything is blooming out. This park opened in 1937. It has three man-made lakes. You can rent canoes, you can picnic, you can even camp out overnight in this park. It's an amazing place, definitely worth your time and your trouble to go see. Again, this is Raleigh's Central Park, located on the western side near the airport. Best, the best landmark that I could recommend you think about is the airport, or if you're familiar with our steakhouses in the area, the world famous Angus Barn is right next door to this place. Again, very, very cool, great place for hiking, running, biking, pretty much anything you wanna do, this is a great place to go. And best of all, free admission. And speaking of hiking and biking and walking and all of those sort of things, next thing to tell you about that's just ideal to do in the spring is go see, visit the Raleigh Wake County Greenway. We talk about this all the time, especially to clients that are coming in asking about great places to go hike and bike. And this is the best place to go, probably one of the best places in the country, without a doubt. It's 114 miles long, spread out over 3,800 acres in Wake County. It's a great place, again, to go biking, hiking, running, walking. Taking your four-legged friends out is also a great thing to do. Winston goes all the time on the Greenway. He loves it. We've even seen, again, we've said this before, police on horseback patrolling the area. It was crazy. And as long as the Wake County Raleigh Greenway is, it even connects up to the Mountains to the Sea Trail, as well as the East Coast Greenway system. So it gets even longer than the 114 miles. And not to be left out, Durham has over 30 miles of Greenway Trail. Most famously, they have the American Tobacco Trail. Definitely, if you're in Durham or in that direction, check out their Greenway system as well. Next up is canoeing and kayaking. If walking on the trails is not enough exercise for you, the spring is certainly a great time to get out on, on, on our mini lakes and go canoeing or kayaking. Among the many, many places you can go in the area to go canoeing and kayaking, you have Shelley Lake, Umstead Park, Falls Lake, Lake Crabtree in Cary and Morrisville, and Lake Mickey in Durham. The next great thing to tell you about that's perfect to visit in the spring is the Carolina Tiger Rescue. This is a nonprofit wildlife sanctuary in Pittsburgh, North Carolina, and for frame of reference, Pittsburgh is just south of Chapel Hill, about 20, 30 minutes outside of Chapel Hill. This place is amazing. They have rescued and saved lions, tigers, cougars, all kinds of animals and with the goal of rehabilitating them and getting them back out into the wild. This place has 20,000 visitors annually. Again, great place to go. Lots of school field trips head to the Carolina Tiger Rescue. Definitely something you would want to do on a trip here or if you are a local. And at the time we're filming this, tickets to get into the place for a day trip is about $18 for an adult and $12.50 for a kid. Kids under, I believe, four years old get in for free. This is a really, really great experience. If you're in Raleigh, it's about a 45 minute to an hour drive to get there. Definitely worth your time. Definitely in the spring when the weather is amazing and makes it so much easier to enjoy all of the wildlife. Next great place to visit in the springtime is the J.C. Ralston Arboretum in Raleigh. This is a 10-acre arboretum near the NC State campus. Again, obviously in the spring, things are blooming. It's gonna be an amazing place to visit and an amazing place to take pictures and generally commune with nature. And again, best of all, admission is free. Next up are all the many festivals that are upcoming in the spring. So the Raleigh area 
has tons of festivals year round, but the best ones seem to be happening in the spring and best of all, most of them have free admission. Just a few of the things to get excited about are the Q Grass Festival coming April 16th from noon until 6 p.m. This happens in downtown Raleigh and it celebrates barbecue, North Carolina barbecue and bluegrass music. Hence the name Q Grass Festival. Get it? Barbecue Q Grass Bluegrass. There you have it. Next up is Brugaloo. It happens April 22nd and 23rd again in downtown Raleigh. 110 craft breweries descend on downtown Raleigh and open up for sampling. There's also local food trucks, local bands that perform over this two day period. It is a huge, huge festival that happens every spring. In fact, it is North Carolina's largest craft beer festival with over 40,000 people expected to attend. Brugaloo was voted the number one beer festival in the country in the USA Today top 10 best list for two years in a row. Next up is the Spring Days Arts and Crafts Festival in downtown Cary at Bond Park. This happens April 30th when 170 local artists come to Bond Park in Cary to show off their wares. All the art is for sale. Again, admission is free and there will be four music stages, crafts and fun things for kids to do and food trucks to enjoy. This is a really, really big event in Cary, happens every year. Definitely something you would want to attend. Next up is the Apex Peak Fest. It happens May 7th in downtown Apex. It features arts and crafts vendors, live music, food, fun for kids and the whole family, and much, much more. Again, admission is free. Next up, Arts Blosure. It happens May 22nd and 23rd. It is a fusion of music and art with activities for kids and entertainment for the entire family in downtown Raleigh. As well, the art will be available for purchase. There you have it. 10 amazing things going on in the Raleigh area in the spring. 10 reasons why I think spring is the best season of the year. Definitely make an effort to get out and try some of these things out if you're a local. If you're not a local, plan on making your exploratory trip happen during some of these festivals or events. You will not be sorry. Other than that, we would definitely appreciate if you watched this video. It's one of our favorites. We think you'd love it too. And as always, we'd love it if you would like and subscribe. And if you have any plans to either move into or out of the Raleigh area, my team and I would love to be your agent of choice. Comment below and feel free to click on the link below to get started working with us. We'd love to help you out. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.